Hello everybody, welcome back to Tales from the Borderlands. We are here today with another gameplay, and last episode we infiltrated Helios, managed to find out how to get into Jack's office. Our disguise is getting a little bit wonky right as soon as we run into the people as well, so without further ado, let's get right back into the action. Askers! Talk or walk, ladies. I don't have time for both. You made me and my accounting boys look like idiots with that 10 million you stole. It's gonna take years to do all the paperwork. Better. Up to it. <clears throat> uh oh, right in the middle of my sentence. That's not good, baby. Sorry, just ate a burrito. Never mess with accountants, Vasquez. Can always count on us outnumbering you. Smoke them! Uh-oh. It's about to go down. <laughs> Kaboom! I mean, I just took it down to the ground. I, I, I'm just being relentless right now. I don't even give a crap who's in my way. I'm pulling out the big guns, and I'm downing all of these noobs. Kaboom! And for some reason, they are all letting this happen. Don't shoot! They're gonna do it. They're gonna shoot. You're gonna go down to the ground, girl. Oh my goodness! Up, down, left, right. Kaboom! Boom! Key! 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 Bring it on! Bring it on! E. I love the voice imitation that he's doing for Vasquez. It's amazing. Batter up, bitches! <laughs> Ooh, almost pressed the wrong button. Bam! Down go the news, though. <laughs> what even was that? Uh-oh. This is no good, Mike. Hope you're not allergic to lead. I'm about to spray some lead. Down at all those noobs. Oh no, it's the boss man, the badass accountant, definitely a virgin guy. These are the bullets. I've been counting. Uh oh, down. We don't need it. We don't want to miss a prompt. Oh, throw that knife. Throw that knife, man. Kating. Oh wow. We've got him surrounded! How do I get out of this? There's no way! Oh, shooting all around me, they can't even get near me. For some reason they're running in on me while I have machine guns going, but I don't even know. <laughs> that guy's not having any of it. <laughs> nice! Well I just just decorated the room with their guts. <laughs> What a violent scene. Very vile. I do apologize for that if you guys are sensitive to gore. That was probably one of the most violent uh, ep videos I've ever had. Might get flagged. Hey, you. Alright, you know, screw this thing. There we go. Well, look, even if it was a treasure map, it's not going to do you much good down here. <clears throat> hey, what's going on here with you all? How's it going? Oh, hi, Reese. Things are going great. Did you just say Reese? Nothing. Oh. I could have swore you said Reese. Isn't that the name of the dead guy they picked up on Pandora? How much of a beating did you lay on these two? Huh? Clearly they're brain damaged. I mean, just like the regular amount. Uh, come on. Clearly not the way this one's babbling on. So what is it that I can help you with, Mr. Vasquez? 
because if it's related to the incident upstairs, this is all under control. Just another case of vandalism on the Handsome Jack tour. Yeah, I've got some heavy interrogation ahead of me with this Pandoran scum. Interrogation? Oh yeah, you don't do whatever they did and not get some interrogation for your trouble. You know what I'm saying? I guess so. Go on and grab some lunch or something. Hey, I hear the macaroni is good. I got this handled. I do love macaroni. Let me know if you need anything. Will do. Don't worry about it. You enjoy your macaroni. We'll take care of these thugs. Nice job. So, what is this plan, exactly? Jack told me about a trapdoor that leads to his office. We just gotta figure out a way up. Oh, dear. I think we found the trapdoor. Oh, okay! So I'm guessing the plan doesn't involve you getting mulched by a death machine? No, that's... that's a problem. Yeah, How can I, we help? By I, I, figuring out a way to I shut like that thing off that. so I can get up there. Then I pull you up on the comm so you can identify the piece. Sounds like a plan. Wait! We gotta go up that scary dark hole? I think Reese is the only one scrawny enough to fit. Let's check out what this panel does over here. I guess I could have scanned it before I started messing around with it. Maybe I should have done that. Uh-oh. Did that do anything? No, it did not. Okay. Now, well, let's see if we can scan it. All right, I get it now. So, Fiona, I need you to hold this while Gordas boosts me up. Don't worry about hurting me. Just climb on up. Well, I guess it's tough to hurt someone made of metal. Oh, no. This is excruciatingly painful. But, hey, I'm a team player. Reese wouldn't let us down. Oh, you haven't been around him as long as I have. Unclear. But it's all we've got, so there's that. Well, I'm overflowing with confidence. That's the spirit! Alright, nice. boys, just give me a little boost up there. This ought to go perfectly, no right? Wrong. Uh oh. Oh, Hurry up, no. Reese. Okay. Oh, oh man! <laughs> well, there's the boost I needed, I suppose. Now hopefully How they don't just that? turn it on. Better while I'm climbing. I could have expected. Thanks. No problem. Yeah, good Try job, not to Gordis. die. Reese, you all right? Nope. Good thing I got that puking out of my system. Maybe we should step away. Reese, you can do it. Climbing with your cyber arm should be easy. Easy, right? <laughs> Stupid, nice robot. You heard her. Climb. Climb. I mean, what else do you think we're doing? You think we're just sitting here having a smoke? Ooh, the first obstacle. Can we make... Oh, why? You've why got now? Some impeccable timing. Hey, I don't know when you gave them the slip, but Finch and Kroger are out there looking for you, and things are going to get messy if you start messing with us. Don't forget what's on the line here. You get us what we want, what we agreed to, and no one has to get hurt. Look, we had to change plans. There were... complications. Well, let me uncomplicate it. Get the beacon... Bring it to me. Yeah, working on it. Good. Yeah, we're we're working on that. We'll see. <laughs> we'll see who will bring that to, or if we bring it to anybody. Maybe we'll keep it. Who knows? Who knows what we can we shall do with this, or we shall do with this. Back in Jack's office. Wow. Got through the shield that kills everybody. And we're uh, yeah. It's a nice looking office. Hey, check you out, you made it. In the end, we make a pretty good team, huh? I mean, we had our differences, but we got here. My office. Well, uh, our office now. Sure. Gotta say, Jack, I, I couldn't have made it here without you. Hey, same to you, man. I used to dream about being here. Anyway, where's the Gordas Beacon? Uh, it's gotta be over there somewhere. It's where all the corporate warfare fallout is. 
ton of Atlas crap. Soak it in, kid. Enjoy yourself. I mean, this is a pretty uh, impressive office, if I say so myself. Let's have a yeah, look at the really lid. no rush here. Just take it easy. Soak in the sights. Help us. Where the guns are cold, the women are warm, and butt slams are your primary <laughs> method of communication. Gotta love it. Huh. <laughs> All right. Look at the, the scar. Once upon a time, same moon. Yeah, a lot of people said similar things about me, except uh, for the scarred moon thing. That'd be weird. Got a very lovely view, if I do say. Let's go see if we can't find this gorgeous Welcome object. to a trophy case, huh? Got a couple of killer relics. A few artifacts. Oh, there's a stock certificate signifying that I own Atlas. That's pretty freaking cool. Nothing feels better than crushing a company's value to the point where you can buy all their shares with pocket change. It's delish. Gordis, you there? Hey! Uh, hi. Okay. Uh, so I'm gonna show you the pieces now. You let me know which one it is. All right? Okie dokie! All right, which is the most... Let's try this one. Oh, okay. Oh, here it is. Oh, sweet. Maybe this is one? Negatory. Okay. What about this little guy right here? There we go. The U-shaped thing with the little spear. Great. I'll be down there in a minute. Okay. See you soon. Ah, Gordas is excited. And now we have that second piece. Not much to look at. Okay, here we go. The big seat is all yours. You trigger the trap door from there. The trap door. Okay, let's go trigger that trap door. First, let's run into the wall for a little bit. <laughs> I was looking over here, making sure there wasn't anything, anything else to look at. Stuff on desk. What is this? Ah, uh, it's a piece from an early immortality suit prototype, but it uh, killed the subject, which is great, but just not what we're going for. Who's this? Oh, uh, yeah, that's my angel. Don't usually like people knowing about her, but uh, you and me are pretty tight. Once we're done with all this vault stuff, I'd like to check up on her. That's cool. If that's possible, sure. Sure thing there, friend. Sure thing, pal. Cool, let's sit in the seat, or Jack's throne, rather. And hit that trap door button. Feels good. That'd be the contact activated dopamine injectors. You look like somebody who could kill a bunch of people with a phone call and a little bit of bass in your voice. So tell me how to trigger the trap door. It's behind your pinky. This could be our last chance to chat, you and I. For years, I ruled Hyperion from this room. And now you're here, where it all started. How's it feel, kiddo? There's something to be said for a cushy chair with a bunch of big important buttons that can raise hellfire on people. It's good to be the king. I knew there was a reason we got along so well, kid. You get it. But say, we shared the power I had when I sat in this room. What would you do with it? That's a darn good question. What would Reese do with all this power? What we what would we do with all this what power? What the hell is taking him so long? I suppose we get to decide. Reese, the machine is off. Did you get the beacon? We're ready for you. All good. Just getting into position. Oh! Someone is here! Hey! Oh, it's you! Uh oh. What are you doing? Who is it you're talking to? Nice. He was the one. He started it. Oh, okay. So let's grab this broom. I doubt this is a good idea. 
Should we should we rely on that? Oh, that sounds that sounds that looks risky. I'm sure she'd like to see you too. Oh, hey, here she is. Oh no, it's Sasha. Oh no, it's uh, ha, ha, Gordis. It is Sasha. Ah, uh, Gordis. So, if we could wield Hyperion's might together, how would you rule? Hypothetical, of course. But still, you gotta know what you want if you're gonna make it, kid. Like I told you after we escaped Old Haven. Remember? I'd fix Pandora. There's some good people down there. And they deserve better than a world full of psychos. Yeah, that's what I wanted. But hell, maybe you'll pull it off. Who knows? You've done well so far, kid. But imagine, Reese, if it wasn't hypothetical. You ever wonder why Nakayama created me? This whole AI thing? I was supposed to find a worthy successor to the Hyperion throne. And that successor, Reese, is you. If you join me, we can rule together. What do you say, kid? This is the only room with the override port, so if you don't jack in now, You'll never get another shot. Yes. Yeah? Yeah. Let's do it. Yes! You! You are my favorite dude! So what's next? There it is. That's the executive override port. Jack in, and this will all be yours. Jack in. You get it? Big moment for us, kiddo. All right. I do not trust time. Jack at all, but we are going to follow through with this. We decided that die. a few episodes ago, so oh, let's, let's get it. it. Let's get going. Here it comes. He's going to betray us. I just, I, I, I have a bad feeling. Ree, the machine is off. Did you get the beacon? We're ready for you. All good. Just getting into position. You know, come to think of it, I'm glad you told her about me. It'll make it so much easier to appreciate her shocked face when she sees us sitting in the throne. So, is that it? Are we done? <laughs> uh. <laughs> oh, man, it feels good to get out of there. Road trip's over, Reese. We made it. So... What happens now? Oh, you? You're getting a huge promotion, pal. And since I'm in the system now, allow me to do the honors. Hey, friends. Remember me? It's your old pal, Jack. Well, pencils down, amigos. I've got someone to introduce you to. There's a new president in town. That's right, baby. Get those hands a-clapping. Because I want to give a very special Hyperion welcome to the chiefiest of executives, totally president material, all the way from janitorial. This can't be happening. Reese! Wait, so this is actually mine. This, this is mine to control. Take it in, Reese. Hyperion, Pandora, help us. Oh, they are just the start. We'll rule this entire freaking universe. You and me, kiddo. President Reese and handsome goddamn Jack. <laughs> wow. Well, we did it. We put Jack back in power. And that is the end of episode four. We will get into episode five next episode. Thanks for watching, everybody. Hope you enjoyed it. If you did like, favor, and subscribe. This was Tales from the Borderlands. And next episode, we're going to figure out what our decision and the choices we've made, kind of the result of that, and see if we can get back to Pandora to maybe explain things to Valerie or not. Who knows? I will see you guys next time. Bye-bye.